Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are diving right into cashmere, into a pool of cashmere because I'm gonna be reviewing four different loungewear sets. The first of which I have half on of. So they're matching pants that I haven't tried yet. So it's gonna be half haul, half throw down. We're gonna see which brand makes the best set out of four different options. They're all pretty pricey because it's cashmere, so I'm curious to see which one I think has the highest quality. It's pretty hard to discern from the sites as to whether these are two ply and the quality of the actual cashmere yarn, so I'm just going to feel it and tell you what I think, given that it's something that I've researched quite a lot for my own cashmere lines. so. I'll tell you what I think about all of these, especially for something that as a whole, you probably would never wear in an office or professional environment. Now, that said, that wasn't a deal breaker for me because I wear cashmere all the time, nine months out of the year. So it is something that I am pretty willing to spend good money on that I keep for years and years. I have quite the collection that I've built up. It's one of my favorite things. So I don't mind that. Plus, you can also split up the sets. So, I mean, right now I'm wearing some Spanx um, jeans with this top from Filoro, which is half of the first set that we're just going to jump right into. So, you know, it, even if you don't end up wearing cashmere bottoms post-2021 as much as you would during these last few months of work at home where you know these have just been all the rage these kind of matching sets whether it's more of a sweatsuit material or you know the luxe um, version which is a full head to toe cashmere then you can still wear the tops or some parts of the outfit there's another um, outfit from a different brand where I'm hoping that the pants will be a little bit more um, stylable if that's a word in terms of a more formal outfit so I love the kind of dark olive green, dark sage green, whatever you want to call it. It's more of like a warm green of this outfit. And this one has been all over Instagram. So this is how I dove in first. I really like the industrial oversized zipper. It feels really heavy and good quality and you can layer it. I've worn it with a lace cami before. Um, you guys would have seen that in my Amazon tips video and I really like this top. I've worn it quite a lot since I've gotten it. So I also got the pants, which I haven't tried before. They look a little big, but we're going to try them on. It's two ply, so it actually says that. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure none of this cashmere is made in Nepal. I think Nepalese cashmere is the highest quality, but I do really like the quality of Filoro. I haven't felt any of the others yet. It's very soft. The only thing I would say, can you see how fluffy that is? Fluffy cashmere like this is wonderful, but be warned, it's gonna pill more usually. Um, if it's a very, very soft yarn like this, I think it's much more prone to, is it pilling or piling? People say it different ways. To me, pilling makes more sense because it's little nubbles, like pill-like um, little lumps of yarn that form, but I think a lot of people say piling. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Between your legs, you're definitely going to get some of that and probably under your arms as well over time, but it's nothing you can't remove. I don't think that's a deal breaker for me. I would definitely get more of the tops, but I'm not sure that I would purchase more of the bottoms just given the price point, but otherwise I really like how this whole set feels against the skin. It's 100% soft and not um, scratchy at all. Next up and in terms of price point is this set from Bloomingdale's. So I thought as opposed to all of the Instagram brands where I don't know what the quality is like, Bloomingdale's I'm very familiar with the quality of their cashmere. They started doing more and more good cashmere to really compete with Nordstrom because Halogen is doing less and less cashmere so it's been nice to see more aqua cashmere and then see by Bloomingdale's are the two um, big ones that have a lot of different styles and colors and I've been really enjoying it over the last year I feel like the quality is very high the price point if you get it on sale is about the same as halogen this set however all together is pricey because they never sell the sets 
as one set. It's always two pieces, which is great because you might want a different size bottom than top, but not great in terms of price point because it definitely adds up. But having a cashmere hoodie is always a good idea. The only thing I would say, and the fit of these pants is a little bit different than the Felora ones. It's a little bit less current in terms of how fitted it is. It's definitely more of a loose look, um, but it ties nicely at the waist. There is a little tiny bit of sheerness around the backside area. If you were wearing a bright color of underwear, it would definitely show through, um, but the color is really light as well. So you can't expect it to be as fully opaque as a darker color. That is the Bloomingdale's set, and I really like the heathered effect of it. It's got a nice, light almost lavenderish kind of hue to it it's like a very pale gray lavender that's really pretty um, and kind of bright my first time so it's made from this in the recycled envelope which is really nice uh, and everything inside is a really pretty oh am i the only one who has such a soft spot for oatmeal colored cashmere i don't even like the color of oatmeal as a food it's just a beige food it's not that exciting but put it into cashmere and i am just oh so obsessed i don't know what it is i think it immediately feels extra luxurious um because of the colors so if you're torn about what color to get in the set i would recommend either something that is like a colored neutral, so like an olive or a rust or something like that that's a little bit fun, or oatmeal. So right away, I really like the waistband on this set of trousers because it feels very thick, substantial, and high quality. It's elasticated and there's no tie, which is gonna avoid that really weird nubbly thing that you always get with sweatpants. Um, it's a little bit more of a straight cut as opposed to being a jogger style of bottom. It's very, very soft um, and fluffy, a lot like the Felora one, but not quite as fluffy. So Nottam markets themselves as more of a fair trade option. So there's a little tag that talks about that. On my 5.4 frame, they're not really that cropped, um, but I really like the cut of them. So then the top. I really hesitated whether to get this. I would never wear the cardigan unbuttoned. It's just not my style. Cropped anything has really never been for me. But they had me at cashmere, so I bought my first cashmere bra. Is this a new low or a new high? I can't tell anymore. Um, but it is really cute. Um, at least I got it in a neutral color. And it is kind of a useful thing with a cardigan because you might not want to wear something that you need to tuck in because it's long because it'll just add more bulk to the outfit um, and then the cardigan is the boyfriend style cardigan again I got a small and I'm questioning whether I should have gotten an extra small maybe or is it gonna drown me um, but I really like the oversized buttons um, again the oatmeal slightly heathered pattern of this is perfect. It's perfection. And I'm kind of liking the bra idea, but let's try it on. So I really like the flow of this outfit. It's definitely not figure hugging in any way other than the bra top underneath, um, but I really like how it skims the body. I love the color on. I think it's very flattering and I love that the pants are not sheer, which was a little bit of a fail with the Bloomingdale set. And the last set comes in probably the best packaging that is biodegradable and reusable. It's got the nice Ziploc style closure. So this is from Naked Cashmere, also very highly marketed on Instagram. And I really hesitated over what color to get this one in. And I decided I was gonna be so practical, you know, cause buying a $400 cashmere outfit is such a practical decision. I decided to get the black because I thought that the pants might possibly maybe somehow be wearable outside the house in the real world someday. So um, I got these trousers on the Instagram model. They do look kind of professional in terms of styling possibilities because they're a wide cut. So I imagine that with a pair of nice pointy heels and a nice crisp shirt or a more polished kind of figure skimming sweater, um, it might actually look 
really good. So Naked Cashmere is 100% recycled cashmere, which is pretty awesome. Um, and they also make some statements about fairness to goats, the environment, and farmers, which is awesome. Again, I got a size small. And the pants definitely look enormous compared to the others, but small at the waist. And I also like that they don't have a tie, um, but the waist is a little bit different. It's more of a paper bag style in terms of how it gathers. So very different kind of fit um, from the other ones. Here I have a cropped cardigan, also in black. I do not own anything else cropped really at all. So I thought this might be quite useful over summer dresses. I don't see myself ever wearing anything belly bearing, like wearing this with any kind of low slung jeans is just already giving me terror but um, I think with these pants there's not actually going to be any kind of gap in between it's just going to flow nicely without having a lot of overlay creating a lot of bulk and kind of losing some of the style um, and then in the future in the summer spring early fall it'll look really nice over a light kind of gauzy dress um, and since cashmere is very warm but not sweaty what I love about it as well as the fact that I mean it's to die for soft um, it should be a nice layering piece I really like the softness of this set I would say it's not as fluffy as some of the others perhaps because it's recycled cashmere it's not quite as fluffy but it is as soft and it may pill less because of the slightly lower fluff factor because of the nature of that yarn it may also pill a little bit less whether I'll actually ever wear these pants to an office is kind of up for debate but I think they look pretty flattering nonetheless and if you add some heels it definitely makes some more dressy so I'm really happy with this set as well. So that concludes my review of all of these cashmere sets. Have you bought any sets that you're really happy with cashmere or not? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious to hear kind of what your loungewear thoughts are because we're all experts by now at loungewear. I've always been really into loungewear because I always felt like I lived my life 50% in you know, business formal or business casual, depending on what phase of my life, um, office wear, and then 50% just in nice pajamas. That always kind of felt like my life, but now we've worn the latter more than the former over the last year. So very curious on what your experience has been. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see my next installment on style, then please hit subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.